Hey, so we haven't done these for a little while. Um, I thought I'd do like a mix run through. Um, we worked on a really cool track recently with a band that's named in Latin, so I'm not even gonna try and say the name. And the song is also named in Latin, so I'm not gonna try and say that either. Uh, I don't wanna make a tip of myself. But we did some really cool stuff. Um, there was like a big gothic choir sort of ending and there was only uh, five of us in total, four in the band plus myself. So, uh, and really only three vocalists. Um, so we did some really cool layering um, that might be cool to sort of check out. So I've got the Pro Tools session open here um, and let's sort of solo a couple of things out and take a look. So over here is where the, the section starts. So all the vocals together, this is, this is what we managed to get. See, we got really creative here. Um, let's just solo a few things out and have a listen. So. Zoe, the vocalist for this band, she was wicked to work with. Um, we were picking out sort of certain notes in, I think it's a harmonic scale, although my theory is terrible. Uh, you'll probably correct me down below. Um, but we sort of picked key notes out that sort of sounded very epic. So just her on her own it's already sounds with the layering, everything's double tracked. Um, it sounds pretty powerful. And then we had uh, Kirk, the drummer, and uh, Adam, the guitarist, come in and they laid on some extra ones, plus taking it down uh, maybe an octave uh, on certain tracks. So those guys, just the male vocals together. So you can hear how powerful it is and what each part's trying to do. Um, and I think in creating something with this sort of epicness, the difference in gender is, is massive. It plays an important part of being able to cover the full spectrum. And like you know, with guys that I've worked with before, in the same way that we swap out guitars for certain sections or maybe add extra cymbals and things in, I think it plays an important role to create the sound that we're after. So all together. And then underlying all the chants, we have these extra sort of uh, held notes, and then we bring in some extra vocals sort of halfway through. So the held notes. So all they're really doing is sat behind and creating a lot, sort of a drone throughout uh, and it really glues them together. And then we've got these little lines here, which again is Zoe. Life is upside down. So they, they sound very happy, they sound very nice, they sound very uh, sort of uplifting, which is a really cool contrast to the, the raw sort of epicness from the rest of the vocals that are going on here. Um, and we also got her to do a similar sort of drone thing. But this one is absolutely drenched in reverb and delays and uh, it's quite sort of eerie. Uh, I think we reversed a, a few, but that's just that on its own. And 
and then all together. So I think that's, that's really cool the way that we uh, we used the most out of each vocalist. I mean, they're good. They've got three really strong vocalists in the band. Um, and they come in and we experimented with a lot of things and I can't give them enough thanks for uh, having the patience with me to be like, yep, yeah, do this, do this. Yeah, double track this, quad tracking this. Um, we had a really good time making this track. Uh, it's just over eight minutes in total. Um, so there's a lot going on. We also did uh, this cool drum thing uh, over the top of that section, which is like a marching sort of, uh, we were thinking, you know, Lord of the Rings, you know, if this is a film score, uh, what do we want it to sound like? So we stacked up and I think we uh, quad tracked or one, two, three, uh, okay, we did six, so I'm not sure, it's six lit trap, cool, whatever. Uh, we, we did it six times. Uh, we used a couple of different snares, different sizes, different tunings. Um, and also uh, we've got two really big floor toms. I think it's a 16 and an 18 or an 18 and 20 in the live room. Uh, it's one of the kits that we have here uh, in the studio. And we wanted some big epic toms. So let's just solo out the snares first. Um, and you can see how those sound. So you can hear how um, it's creating this sort of marching feel. And again, that's quantity. You know? That's why we did it six times. If we just had it done maybe once or twice, so this is just one take on its own, if Pro Tools will play ball. And that also goes for the tom section. Uh, there is a reverb there that you might be hearing. Um, and that's because I've got a, a master reverb where all these are going through. I wanted to create like a, a massive room sound for everything. So there are some uh, vocal spills in there. But uh, the toms are the same, same sort of principle. Again, we wanted it sounding as huge as possible. Um, so I guess what we've got to do now is uh, reveal the lot. So we'll have instruments and vocals together and see how that sounds. So there we go, uh, that's what we had all together. Um, it's really cool, we definitely went to town on this track. Uh, there's some really cool interesting stuff uh, before, this is the end of the track um, that we might cover in a different video. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've got any thoughts, you've tried similar things out, or maybe you've got a different technique. Um, also if you want to see stuff like this again, let me know. But until next time, take it easy.